How to generate and call Android native code by using the Pigeon package, which is a native code generator tool that makes communication between Flutter and the Android native host platform highly convenient and type safe. Let's use the Pigeon package to automatically generate native code by going to the pubspec YAML file and add the Pigeon package to your dev dependencies. Next, we create within our Flutter project a new folder which is called Pigeons. And secondly, inside of this folder, we create a new file which is called book.dart. Inside this book.dart file, you can put all the objects inside that you want to send to the native site or vice versa. And secondly, we create another class with all the methods that we want to call on the Android native site. Here it is important that you also have an abstract class because we only define here the methods. And secondly, we also need to annotate this abstract class with the host API annotation. And to make use of it, you also need to import here this pigeon package. So if you want to call methods from the Android native site with Flutter, then you use the host API annotation. You also have the Flutter API annotation. And here the communication is in the other direction. All right, in this case, we use the host API annotation because we want to call some methods on the Android native site from Flutter. Before we use here this start file to generate our Android native code, I also want to explain shortly here all the rules about this file. So first of all, you need to create this book dart file outside of your lib folder. So we have created here inside of a separate folder. Secondly, this file that we have created outside of the lib folder should only contain classes and not other functions or other declarations. Another rule is that if you use your methods, then you need to have here a return type so you cannot write something like this. This is not working. At least you have to write here in front void if you have no return type. Otherwise, you need to put here the return type inside. All right, and lastly, we want to create within our root Flutter folder a new file, which is called generate shell. Next, you can go to the pigeon package on pub.dev and we go here to the usage section. And here you have a link for the example. And within this link, you can scroll a bit down and here you see then a comment. And this is a comment which we basically want to copy and paste it here inside. Next, we want to modify this command by going to the second line. And here we define then the input file, which we have placed in our pigeons folder. However, in our case, it is called book.dart. In the third line, you see where this file will be later generated. So we will generate in our lib folder a pigeon dart file. And lastly, we want to modify here the last two lines. Here we have a long pass within our Android app folder. So let's go to our Android app source main folder. And here you have this Java folder. And inside of it, you have this generated plugin file. And we want to copy here the relative pass. The next step is that we simply replace here the pass with this new pass. So I simply put it here inside. And I also remove here the end, which is in this case a file, because we only want to keep here the folder. And instead, we have here at the end another file, which is called Pigeon Java. We also need to change here the Java package name. Therefore, you simply go here to this Java folder in your path and everything behind it you want to simply copy besides the file name. And then I simply put it here inside. And instead of the slashes, you want to put every time a dot inside. And lastly, I want to copy here this command or you can also run this file directly. However, you can always go here inside of your terminal and inside of it, you paste in this command inside. And after some time, the generation should be successful in case you have your no error messages. So all in all, based on this pigeon template file, we have generated automatically this pigeon dart file within our lib folder. And here we have all the code which is needed for communicating then with the native Android site. And secondly, within your Android folder, this pigeon Java file was automatically generated for you. And this handles here then the communication on the Android native site, which we are calling from Flutter. And lastly, if we click here on this button on the right side, then we want to use the generated native code to communicate with the Android native site. Therefore, we create first of all a list of books. And now if we press on this button, then we want to fetch this book. 
Here inside, we call then the book API and search method that we have defined before inside of our pigeon file. So here, this is our template file. And now we use here the book API and the search method, which we then communicate with the native site. And as a result, we get then a list of books back. Let's go back to the main file and here we want to implement a number, whereas we take the number from the length of our books, which we have here in our state. And lastly, we get then from the search some books back. And as you notice, this has here a nullable type, which we also want to convert to a non-nullable type. And finally, we can put the new books inside of our state. So we put it simply here to the list of all of our books. The last step is to create this search method inside of the Android native site. Therefore, let's go here to the Android folder and let's open it up in Android Studio. Inside of Android Studio, you can open the app folder and here within the Java com folder, you find the main activity file. So by default for Flutter projects, you have your Swift code on the Android native site. However, I will also show you later the Java implementation. First of all, let's start by making some importments. And secondly, we want to override here the configure flutter engine method. And inside of this method, you need to call the setup method on this book API that we have created initially. So like you remember, inside of our pigeon template file, we have created before this book API class and here the search method that we now want to implement inside of the native site. Therefore, we create here a new class, my book API at the top. And inside of this one, you need to implement then exactly this search method. And inside of the search method, you can call any native Android APIs to actually get here, for example, some books and return them. In our case, we randomly generate some books. So we give it a random title and also we give it here a random image and then we return this book back to the Flutter site. And finally, let's go back to the Flutter site and the books that we receive here from the Android native site are going inside of this books list. And lastly, we also want to display then this list of books. Therefore, I change here the implementation of our scaffold body property, whereas I create here a page view builder and here we get basically all the books and I simply display then in a column the image. So we display the URL image of the book and also the generated title that we have randomly generated on the Android native site. Let's also try it out. Therefore, make sure that you restart here your Flutter application and then you can click on this button and he will then fetch here the book with the image and also the random title. And if I click again on this button, he will fetch another book, which we see here then in our page view. Let's also look at the Java code implementation for the Android native site. First of all, here we have the important statements. Secondly, we implement the configure Flutter engine method where we set up our API. In this case, the book API. And lastly, we create this my API class here at the top, which implements then the search method. And inside of it, you call then the native Java code APIs for getting here, for example, a random book in this case, or whatever you like to implement. And by the way, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.